you don't have this, these memories, and I don't know if they are real or whether I created them, but I am convinced that along the way I've seen adverts selling a product that would boost the imagination. Or I've glanced over articles that say if you do this or you do that, it's really beneficial for the imagination. That's what I think I remember, but I can't find a specific example. Thinking of that does make me think of my own training, shall we say. And there are a couple of instances that I'm sure helped me <laughs> learn to use the or exercise the imagination. One was uh, as a kid, well, I, I, wasn't, I was not an easy child. I, when I look back, I realize that. And so I was often in situations where I'd done something that I shouldn't do. And my dad would say, okay, why did you do this? <laughs> of course, I don't know why I did it, I just did it. I mean, for seven or eight, you're not planning, you're not calculating that, oh, I am now going to do this because of that and that. You just, your mind sees something, whoosh, you go in that direction. So I'd stand, often stand, sometimes for hours, um, being forced to come up with a reason why I'd done something. And I don't think I spent longer than a few minutes in that position, and my mind would just disappear, it would just go somewhere. I suppose that was the only form of freedom, because I couldn't walk away, and I had nothing to say, so I just disappeared into my head. And more than once, I'd be there in wherever land it was, and suddenly my dad's in front of me saying, so what's your answer? Ugh, I have nothing to say. But I, I, so, I mean, he didn't like that, but I think just that, you know, that idea of... Um, if you present boredom to me, I can't be bored. It will just, the imagination says, okay, I got this, and it goes. Another thing was in school, you had detention. If you'd been a bit naughty, <laughs> you could get a detention. And there was one man in particular, his detention was feared. Everybody was terrified of his detention because you didn't have to write lines or you didn't have to copy, copy a passage from the Bible. He, well, I had one of his detentions, and the one I had, he had a table tennis ball, ping pong ball, cut in half. It's there on the desk, and you had to fill three or four pages with what you saw inside that ball. And so, I don't know, I just took the opportunity to flow with things, and I could fill a whole, I could create a whole story about what was inside the ball. And he actually said it's quite good, and then he gave me a warning that, well, wouldn't it be better to focus my energies on doing something sensible that didn't get me into detention rather than mucking around and getting into trouble? So those are just two of many, many instances where I feel the imagination was trained. And um, I'm sure we all have, when you think of it, I'm sure you all have moments where you were in a particular position and the only way out of that position, you couldn't get out physically, was to just disappear into the mind and you'd be gone.